guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the final episode of season two of Sinran. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Am I gonna cry? <laughs> it's too quiet. Okay, never mind. Oh. Oh my god. Right? You do it. That's the first thing that you do when summer starts. I thought that was happening off screen. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it felt like it was going to happen literally off screen. But no, no. We're kind of getting the semi fan service today. He's right. Hush! So honestly, you should not be talking like, damn. <laughs>
Once again, he's just, he's perfect. Perfection. <laughs> That's so sweet. Is that, but we all know. We all know. It was obvious. He's grown so freaking much. Wouldn't it be funny if they're also here, too? We know it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, good. Stop. <laughs> hmm. 
Hey, I remember how emotional you two were. Oh my god. Claps all around. It's <laughs> really cute. Oh, <laughs> Yes, I mean, c baby, come on. Mm. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. I'm dead. I am dead. That is so freaking cute. Right? Say it again in the back. Say it again in the back. <laughs> No.
I'm dead. Dance now. Mm -hmm. Right?
You know, funny. Just most of something else with that spirit out. Made me cry in the last couple of minutes of the episode. God damn it. Yeah, but what about the report? Of course, of course, these two would be mine together. <laughs> started with these two and they're like gosh we're going to end this season with these two again my two boys Right. Overall, this season, I mean, they took everything that we all loved about season one and literally was like, let's up the stakes. I mean, this se like this season was just as good as season one, but just like a teeny tiny bit better. Like, I mean, the emotional, like, always with Killian, we're going to have emotional moments with these guys and anything else that they do. But like... Every single episode just hit in the emotional, like, impact, whether it was just, like, focusing on one character or multiple characters. Okay, my one little thing I will say, um, even though the two out of Mikado's group graduated, I was still expecting for the five of them to be together not just the three out of the five of them because of course yes they have to now look for more members because two of their members are officially gone but it would have been nice to end this second season on everyone being together because okay like i hate to compare this to free and I, i've kind of done it like with season one and i've kind of done a little bit with season two but looking at how free is done and any time when someone graduated and stuff 
Everyone else still came together, including the characters who graduated. It was because they were a family at the end of the day. They all, you know, their love of swimming brought them all together. And they're this big ass family so that if something happened to them, Haru, if anything happened to him or anyone else, but specifically Haru, everybody will literally get their ass up there. Even though I have not seen the movie for the the two the two fate bleh, I can't say I said fate for you movies um yeah I saw like one clip and literally he fainted and everybody booked it to Haru and I was like yeah those are all his boyfriends going after him but because they all care about each other so freaking much yes they're going to be there together now do I think we might get like something like that if we get a season three for this show, honestly, yes, because everybody does really care for precious baby Minato. He is our main character. He's just the lovable baby that we have our POV of every single day and such. But I think if the same thing happened to like Seiya, Rohe, like anybody in this series, of course, everybody will always be around each other because they all care about each other so freaking much. But I mean, I love the fact that, you know, the biggest thing was I never would have thought that in season two, we would have gotten a focus like, or a friendship between Shu and Rohe because like, See, like, looking at season one, shoot, I thought he was always just too good to being, like, someone else's friends besides Minato. And, you know, anytime, like, <laughs> when Seiya would come in and kind of rescue Minato, of course, yes, she did say something. Then that, you know, that little, what I like to call asshat, well, asshole crown, went to Nakaido. And Nakaido was always being the dick, even though he's good at it and such. But he's still sweet at the end of the day because of what we learned about him. But truly, yes, this season was really good on the characters you know, expanding more on them, learning about new characters and kind of just sprinkling, but giving us too much, but not too little on their like situations and stuff. So that hopefully when we do eventually get like what an OVA episode focusing on a different group or even like a potential season three, which is what a lot of us want, we do get to see a little teeny tiny bit more of them. I mean, cause still like, I, I feel like Maybe in the next two years, I can see a season three. I think now, like, I don't know what else what Killing Any has, like, in the woodworks and such. I just know the last time I talked to someone last week about this show, there was one more volume that they could officially do. Um, I don't know how far, and then plus if the person has made anything else after. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Um, so there is a possibility for a season three. That's the same thing with freaking free. But I, I want them to milk the crap out of this show because I love it too damn much. I mean, hello. I I'm just saying it's nice when you get to get the shit and the milk out of somebody. That sounded so wrong, Deja. When you milk the shit out of a franchise, I like it, you know, hey, because it just tells you like, yes, this is good and we need to just go ahead and praise how good this series is because yes this series is very underrated it's like literally one of many underrated shows by kyo annie but it still has that heart of like any other series that kyo annie has made and you just love it so much it's just because of the fact is a lot of people were like oh like this is good this is different but it's not this or this but you know it's just always about taking that chance on a show because you never really know how much it's going to impact your life on how well not even like well yeah so impact on how you look at the world how you look at yourself how you look at others in a different way and truly with this series like i said at the beginning coming back into this like i felt like home i was at home and I still feel like that every single time when I watch this show. And I feel like that with any really kill any show because I'm like, damn, it's just so freaking good. And it feels just like a freaking warm blanket. Like when you come home and you are tired and you are just ready to lay down, you just know that you can like lay in a nice, good, comfy blanket. And you just watch the show and just how the feels and everything. But like, uh, I do also love the fact that, yes, they literally paid homage like all the way to the first episode of season one where it started with both Minato and Masa and then we end this season kind of not not that final part but you know 
where Minato is just sitting there in the exact same place where he first met Masa, even though technically that is not where they actually first met the first time because in a way, because they've never really talked about it. It's in the movie, even though once again, I have not seen it, but once again, clips. They met when Minato was really, really young. And so I think at that time he just didn't remember him. So yeah, I mean, of course, like Masa ha like probably holds that and stuff. But the biggest thing is just like, yes, this was really good. All the heartwarming moments, the the moments of like whether it felt like, you know, of course, it, even though it's not a BL, you have BL moments. Um, and just like the love of a coach and his his like freaking students and how much he cares for his students and what he will do to get them to nationals and stuff. I'm happy that they got to nationals. And so we just hope that next time we get a win. That's all I want. They deserve it. It's their time. I really would have liked it this season, but of course it happens. So next time season motherfucking three. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards the entirety of season two of Sooner. And if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all not next week, more of the week after I come back home from my vacation um, for the start of spring anime. So, uh, essentially, you know, week two. Um, and then of course, Patreons this weekend and then everybody else for like the pretty girl weekend and such like that. But, and then, you know, eventually whenever in the world, the show gets a season three, but until then I will see you guys all next time. Bye.